Uh, good morning everyone. I am Joseph Ashton, Professor of Department of PC in Christian College of Engineering and Technology. Uh, we are going to see Professional Ethics in Engineering. The first unit in Professional Ethics in Engineering is Human Values. It, conduct, it consists of the Moral Values and Ethics, Integrity, Work Ethics, Service Learning, Civic Virtue, Respect for Others and Living Peacefully, Caring, Sharing, Honesty, Courage, Valuing Time, cooperation, commitment, empathy, self-confidence, character, spirituality, introduction to yoga. So these are all the basic uh, topics we are going to discuss in the first unit. So first one is uh, what is meant by ethics. So ethics means nothing but if a helpless boy uh, is, going, is asking the priest that, priest I will give you an apple if you tell me where God is. Then the priest replied that I will give you two apples if you tell me where he is not. This is defined as the value of ethics. So, what is the moral values and ethics discussed by Dela Lema? Wherever I go, the meeting in the public, spreading the message of human values, spreading a message of harmony is the most important thing. So, examples of moral rules in society. So, first one is telling the truth. We have to tell the truth uh, everywhere, even in the work society, even with our relatives. And uh, next one is do not vandalize the property and you should have the courage and you should keep up to your promises and you should not cheat any others and you have to treat others as you want to be treated and you do not judge the person by the side of which you are seeing and we have to respect others so these are the moral examples in the and the examples of the moral rules in society and the moral reasons the moral reasons includes respecting others and ourselves and respecting the rights of others so we have to respect not only the person and we have we also have to respect the person's rights and we should keep the promises which we given to the next person and we should so that we can avoid the unnecessary problem to others and we have to avoid the cheating and dishonesty and we have to encourage our neighbor to do the work and you should show gratitude to others these are the moral reasons and the ethics which refers to the moral values and beliefs of the individuals of the family of the society uh, so some of the ethics examples are trustworthiness so trustworthiness nothing but having the honesty integrity promise keeping and loyalty and respect respect is nothing but we have to respect ourselves and we have to respect others and third one is the responsibility that we have if any task is given to us we have the responsible to do that and main important thing is accountability in the uh, in accountability is nothing but we are accountable for what we are doing so next we have to uh, next to fourth one is the caring and fifth one is justice and fairness and sixth one is civic virtue and citizenship so in the first unit we are going to discuss deeply about what the human values are in ethics so exams of ethics in business uh, that is accounting and misrepresenting the truth uh, so it, it, it will be followed in the work ethics topics uh, we will discuss it later uh, so what is it ethics the rules of conduct recognized in respect to a particular class of human actions or a particular group culture etc it defines how things are according to the rules but According to morals, the principles are habit with respect to right or wrong conduct. It defines how things should work according. It is an individual ideas and principles. So like that, why that is source, why we have to do it, and what are the flexibility to do that. So these are the difference between the ethics and the morals. So what is values? Values defined as a principle that promote a well-being or prevents harm. Values are our guidelines for our success. Our program about acceptable so types of values so there are five types of values that is right conduct peace truth love and non-violence so love love is nothing but you know that it is an acceptance affection care which we source uh, which we source to the next person whom we are we are dependent even in the family or in the work at workplaces and the truth is the truth is nothing but we should be truthful to the world and the person who are in our team or in our family and that is the honesty that is to be nothing but 
uh, harnessed to the um, harnessed in workplace harnessed in family and harnessed in ethics so mahatma gandhi told that there is no god higher than the truth and it is better to be a slap by a truth than kissed with a lie so after that right conduct right conduct under the three things that is self help skills and social skills and ethical skills uh, next one is peace so peace is uh, nothing but it, it it consists of the attention calmness concentration discipline self discipline equality we have to treat humans equally and the happiness self acceptance self confidence are under the conditions of peace so our next one is non violence non violence is of two types that is psychological and social in psych by psychological it is to be the forgiveness a uh, man forgiveness man is happiness loyalty morality uh, so we have to love each other that is non violence we have to be silent when when someone uh, is violent to us even though someone is violent to us we have to keep silence that is psychology in social we should appreciate others cultures others religions others brotherhood other citizenship so uh, we need to respect others property so self appreciation is uh, is not in social in social we have to appreciate others um, others own behaviors other citizenships like that others cultures um next one is integrity integrity is defined as the unity of thought word and deed and open mindedness uh, moral integrity is defined as a virtue which reflects a consistency of one's attitudes emotions conduct in relation to justify the moral values so integrity is nothing but doing the right thing when nobody is watching so it is simply explain that we should have be god feared we should know that every time each and every where god is watching you so that you will do the right thing when even nobody is watching you so that is the process of integrity it is the main human value and next one is work ethics so work ethic is defined as a set of attitudes concerned with the value of work which forms the motivational orientation so work ethics is aimed at ensuring economy so we are going for a job as a profession professional we are going for a job after getting our degree we should get a job we should create our wealth we should earn salary we should buy a car we should build a own house for us that is economically Producti- pro- uh, according to productivity uh, while doing the business we should get a profit or wealth in workplace also and we should work in a hygienic and healthy conditions of working environment and we should raise our family that is privacy and uh, cultural and social development we should involve in both the culture and social development in the working environment uh, so it it also involves the environment that is anti pollution activities so in work ethics we are going to discuss this work ethic topic uh, in the next slide so what is good work ethic it is being committed to your goals so for example if a task is given to you to do a work so you are the accountability and the responsibility to complete that task because you are committed to your goals so for completing your goals you are the accountability to do that task so some of the qualities includes in work ethics are responsibility so if a task is given to you you are the responsible to complete the task with full effectiveness with a full quality with, and the work should be uh, time preferred so you should complete the work within that period of time and you should be accountable whether your task is good or bad and flexibility if you are working in a team you should have a flexible uh, with your team members uh, because your team members will be from uh, some other background some different backgrounds so for example if you are having four team members means your four team members will come from four different backgrounds so we have to be flexible to our team members or our higher authority so that we can uh, finish our task without any interruptions and it will be very effective uh, the task will be very effective the next one is honesty you should be honest to each and every one in the work ethics um, in the working environment uh, already i told that uh, no one will be 
perfect uh, each and every one will come from different environment we won't uh, expect honesty from others but we should be honest to the working environment that one is cooperation cooperation you already uh, we didn't discuss but cooperation is nothing but the teamwork uh, i will show the best uh, picture of cooperation so that you can understand what i am trying to say in cooperation and commitment the commitment is you are going to commitment towards work so if you love your job you can do your task if you don't love your job you only you just uh, came to job for only the only for salary and money to increase your wealth means there is no con- commitment towards the work so you have to commit you towards your task so that um, your task will be uh, will be in you, you are having the goal to complete the task so next one is service learning the service learning may be defined as the non paid activity in which service is provided on voluntary basis to the public and uh, non profitable situation uh, some like the service learning is nothing but we are uh, in our society there are so many ngos that is non governmental organizations so we have to join the non governmental organizations and we have to service the society which is useful to the environment so that is the topic of service learning and in the industrial scenario we have to adapt study and develop the public health and we have the employees should welfare or safety system of a village or school is the best example for service learning for the engineering students analyzing and executing a socially relevant project is an example of service learning so next one is civic virtue civic virtues are the moral duties and rights as a citizen of the village or the country or an integral part of the society and environment an individual may exhibit civic virtues by voting volunteering and organizing welfare groups and meetings so i can say some of the examples in civic virtue that uh, while studying the students are going for the awareness program for example awareness program against the siva kalavera maram awareness against plastics awareness against the tribal people's education higher education so uh, there is non profitable this is non profitable for the students but they are involving in this awareness program uh, for the social activities that is called civic virtue so so that the students won't get any salaries or they they are not paid but they can involve in the social activities according to ethical values they are uh, organizing the groups and meetings to create an awareness or they are doing the social activities for the environment is called civic virtue and there are the moral codes morality ethics virtues vices and value systems in civic virtues uh, next one is respecting for others so respect others takes a turn to speak to listen to hear different opinions so first of all you have to give respect so that you can earn respect so respecting others you know that uh, you you must allow the other persons or your team members opinion as a suggestion so even though this decision is yours you have to ask the suggestion to your team members so this is the respect you are giving to them you have to listen to them you have to hear them and you have to speak to them so that different types of opinions will come for a single solution uh, for a task single uh, pro- for a problem single solution so that respecting others is important thing in human values and also in work ethics so living peacefully peaceful living is said by buddha that don't judge others so most of them are doing that we are we are 100% is correct the next person is wrong this task is not completed because of that person illness that person family situation but we are not blaming other we are judging the other we are not taking the pin from our eyes and we are uh, showing the pin on the other person's side so when we don't judge other we will be having the first peaceful life this is the first point next one is don't worry about what others say if someone speaks about behind us means we will be getting worried while hearing that this person or uh, uh, this person speaks me like this uh behind me so they are speaking behind you because 
they can't able to uh, over through you over through you so that they are speaking behind you if they um, so you have you should not be worry about what other, what others are saying about us and the third point is enjoy each and every day so yesterday is died tomorrow is been born been born and today is the day which we have to enjoy in each and every day we should live happily and make peace with your past even though we are having the hardest to pass in our life that is died because that is the past you, you should not go to your past and you should not turn back to your past and you should not change your past so make peace with your past and and show your love in future and you make your own happiness that is the wonderful word said by buddha for living peacefully and it is one of the most important human values in ethics so caring caring is to make a difference in someone life uh, caring does not uh, to be uh, you don't have to be a brilliant to show care you don't have want to be a brilliant or a rich or you have to be beautiful or you have to be perfect just you care so for caring other uh, there should be a, uh, there is no need of extraordinary qualities to care of others just you show the love to the others that is called caring and sharing sharing is the just joint use of a resource or space the best content is useless and will die without other sharing and other teaching it so in work ethics for example in an work ethics if you are having a problem in a task and you are getting rid of that uh, task and we are f- trying to find out a solution for the problem that task so while you get find out for the uh, for the uh, problem solution you have to share with others so that while sharing the person who have also having the problem in the same task will get rectified because of that sharing so this is according to work ethics we are uh, we are saying that the sharing is about the task but even though we have to share our happiness to the work station in our families in our relatives also that is the joint use of resource so if you share means then she will also the our next person will also share a thing which you will be need so it will be very useful for you so while this is a sharing is a very good resource in ethics next one is honesty so honesty is the best policy and is the proverb by benjamin franklin so you know about the honesty that you should be honesty is nothing but the truthfulness so how you are behaving the character your character is good or bad whether he is good, doing good or doing bad if you are doing bad and you openly told that yes i did it, this is wrong is that means you are honest to others honesty refers to a fest of moral characters and connotes the positive and virtue attributes such as integrity already i told that truthfulness straightforwardness including straightforwardness of conduct along with absence of lying cheating theft in our work ethic even though we commit a mistake we don't try to hide the mistake to the, our higher authorities we should openly frankly we have to say that yes i did this this shows you are honesty and how honest you are so that the higher authority will understand what you are trying to say and how and he will give an idea about how to uh, rectify that problem uh, if you lie means uh, the higher authority will have a bad opinion about you and your work and he won't believe you in future so even though you uh, to, uh, tell, told a lie to the higher authorities um, you can rectify that you you have the mind to accept the lie and you have to tell the truth without fear so you should be the god fearness in honesty and courage courage is nothing but bravery uh it's a choice and willing to comfort physical courage is the courage in the face of physical pain hardship death or threat of death so courage is of two types one is physical courage and the next one is the moral courage in physical courage depends upon the uh, our physical body uh, courage that braveness you know, well fitted uh, daily exercise the body that is physical courage and moral courage is nothing but ability to act rightly in face to face without opposition without shame for example we can say that uh, while the tamil medium students 
uh, are taking seminars they uh, they are having the fear to stage uh, stand on the stage uh, to take the seminar so they are not having the moral courage so our staffs have to motivate the students they have to bring down the courage out of them and so that even though their english pronunciation and english um, way of communication is wrong they have to bravely come to the stage and they should take the seminar so that this is the moral courage so that we can come out uh, from our fearness so valuing next topic is valuing time uh the realize of value time i researched in the net that uh, and i captured this picture this is the best for valuing time so one year ask a student who failed a grade so you should know that uh, we are getting arrears in one semester and we are trying to take it, uh, and we are trying to get pause in uh, writing again and again the arrear papers and uh that is waste of time and waste of money and waste of energy that is we are lo- wasting our years and one month ask your mother who gave birth to a premature baby and one week ask the editor of a weekly newspaper and one day ask a daily wage laborer who kids to feed so if one day that uh, laborer was not going to work means he will lose his wage daily wage and he will not be able to feed his family so that one day is very important for that labor and one hour ask the lovers who are waiting to meet uh, and one minute ask a person who missed the train so the last one minute i have missed the train uh, we should usually uh, hear the hear the sentences uh, with a uh, last one minute i have missed the train i have missed the bus i have missed the car that one minute and one second ask a person who just avoided an accident and one millisecond as the person who won a silver medal in the olympics so this is the valuing of time so you should value that time and we need to properly utilize that time which you are having uh so this is the best example for the cooperation i already uh, told that cooperation here you can see two donkeys are trying to eat their food from two different sides two are forcing in opposite directions without cooperation and at the third stage they get both get tired and they plan and they both went in a single direction and they had a food in one direction after completing that they came to the next side of the food and they having their food on next direction so cooperation is cleanly clearly explained in this image so cooperation is the process of groups or organisms working or acting together for a common benefit or mutual benefit so this is the best example for common benefit or mutual benefit to work each other so that they can so that the donkeys can get their food so commitment so commitment is the willingness to give your time and energy to something that you believe in or your promise or a firm decision to do something so there will be a, there is a proverb that behind every door there is an opportunity and only true commitment is the key to open the path to success and greatness so in this proverb clearly explain that each and every door has an opportunity but when you are committed to your work or your studies or 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 for your task if you have commitment you are having the key in your hand if you are not committed to your task or work or to the higher authority or to the work environment if you are not committed then you have lost the key so there is commitment towards the work so commitment means acceptance of the responsibilities and duties and cooperation means helps and assistance so next one is empathy empathy is not a sympathy nor is it feeling sorry for others instead it is understanding what others are feeling and thinking so sympathy is uh, creating a sympathy of own or sympathy of others so empathy is uh, um, opposite to that that is we have to stand in the others place and we have to analyze their problem as our problem and we have to think in their place we have to think in the next person's place and we have to feel why this person is this like this so this is the called empathy 
so empathy is the ability to mutually experience the thoughts and emotions and direct experience of others so according to daniel hutchping empathy is about standing in someone else's shoes feeling with his or her heart seeing with his or her eyes not only is empathy hard to outsource and automate but it makes the world a better place so we are having each and every one having our own shoes our shoes will be comfortable for us so even though our size has been changed we can go to the shop and buy a new shoes but the empathy is stands for we are not wearing going to wear our shoes we are going to wear the next person shoes which will not, will be uncomfortable for you so we have to wear other other shoes means we have to stand in that person's place and we have to uh, think why this happened for this person so that is called empathy next one is self confidence uh, and and also i got this picture from web only so you can see that a cat is standing in front of the mirror and the cat is seeing him as a lion so that is self confidence self confidence relates to self assuredness in one's personal judgment ability power and sometimes manifested excessively so we have to be self confidence a person so that uh, if if you can't believe you then who can believe you that is self confidence so one of the greatest challenges in life being yourself in your world that's trying to make you like everyone else next one is the character uh, you will know that character traits or all aspects of a person's behaviors and attitudes that make up person's personality next one is spirituality spirituality is the concept of ultimate or an alleged immediate reality an inner path enabling a person to discover the essence of being deepest values are meaning by which people live so spirituality is nothing but our own religions our own uh, own interest and the inner we can get the our inner values by through the spirituality so next one is we are going to discuss about stress stress is nothing but a state of mental or emotional strain difficulties that cause worry or emotional tensions so in stress uh we can get stress when we when when we can't able to do anything else what we uh what we have planned so we have planned for a tour for example we have planned for a tour on today 6 pm but unfortunately there is a heavy rain which uh, no more vehicles can be moved in the road so you were um, you were holidays are uh, postponed and your trip has been cancelled then it will be it will cause a mental stress that uh, our holidays has been cancelled so how to manage your stress so stress is a complex and dynamic process of interaction between a person and his life stress can affect one's health work performance social life and relationship with family members uh some of the people uh, will get stress for uh, for a chilly reasons uh, they can't be able to manage uh, at that time even uh, if a, if one person failed in a task then he will get easily stressed so it is a mental stress we have to manage that stress so stress uh, some of the symptoms of dress, stress are headaches frequent infections fatigue or breathlessness it is in body in mind the stress will be as, as worrying impaired judgment indecisions negativity hasty decisions so in in body and mind so there are two types of stress in, that is body stress and mind stress so what will be the output of the body stress and mind stress it will be in two outputs that is emotions and behavior in behavior it will be yeah um insomnia it will it is a disease and restlessness and they will be moving for smoking and drinking and loss of appetite in emotion they will lose confidence and they will go for a depression apathy apprehensions so for managing the stress we have to do meditation so a lovable line is here that prayer is when you talk to god meditation is when god talks to you 
and the last topic is yoga so for the stress management in our chapter the last topic is yoga and its meditation which is used to control our stress and stress management so uh, there are so many um, asanas in yoga that is samadhi dhyana pranayama asana dharana niyana yama so we can practice yoga or we can go to our temple or churches in our religious modes for the management of stress uh, yoga is just a practice which is given in your syllabus so and, in, and one of the most important question is in our first unit is yoga and meditation how to control the stress management so thank you